All right, final video for level one would be to use the method stated of complete the square. So just like quadratic formula, we're going to leave our answers in simplest radical or fraction form. Mm -hmm. All right, now complete the square. Remember, you cannot do it unless the leading coefficient here is a one. I have that already, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the process. I start by moving this 134 over to the right-hand side. And what I do is I replace that 134 with a square or a box, whatever you want to call it. So we have, if I added a box to the left, I have to add a box to the right. Now we have to fill in the box. And to fill in the box, you're going to take half of that middle number, I'll do it over here, half of B, and square it. Well, negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 squared is positive 36. The number that goes in the box should always be positive. Now the left hand or the right hand side is simple. Negative 134 plus 36 is negative 98. And the right hand side, I'll show you the long way for this problem, is a perfect square trinomial. It always factors as two equivalent factors. Two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to negative 12 is negative 6 and negative 6. But remember, we said that's always going to happen. We designed this problem, so I get the same factor over here. So what we can do is condense that and say that's 8x minus 6 squared. Now we also reminded you that this negative 6 right here comes from b over 2. It's always going to be that value. All I have to do now is solve for x. I'm almost there. I'm going to take the square root of both sides get x minus 6 equals. Now when you take the square root, you have to put a plus or minus, and I have the square root of negative 98. Now you should be able to look at the square root of negative 98 and say, oh, that has a perfect square in it. You know it's going to have an i because there's a negative. The square root of 98 would be the square root of 49 times the square root of 2. So that would be 7i, radical 2. So I'm going to replace that with this value. Your last step is just to add 6 to both sides. When I add 6 on the right, it squeezes right in front of the plus or minus. So your solutions are 6 plus or minus 7i radical 2. And again, don't separate out the plus or minus because you have an i there. You don't need to write it twice. Just leave it like that, and that is your correct, simplified, exact answer. Because there's an i, these are imaginary roots, you could not factor the original problem. All right, the second one here, notice first that there's a 5 in front of the x squared. I have to deal with that 5 by dividing it away. Now, you might be thinking, why did Ms. Aldrich not move that 25? Well, because, remember, the first step of our quadratic formula after I divide by the coefficient was to move that constant to the right-hand side. Well, the constant's already there, so I saved you some time. So what I would actually do, though, is I would squeeze my box in right now. Right? I have x squared minus 10x plus a box equals 5 plus my box. So I already did the first step of the quadratic formula for you, just add box. Now fill in the box there. So remember, you take b divided by 2 squared. So that's negative 5 squared, which is 25. No, it's not. Oh my, I forgot. To divide negative 10 by. All right. Scrap that. Let's start over. Fill out our box. The only thing I have to change. And then negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2x. My apologies. All right. So to fill out our box, we still do take b divided by 2 squared. Well, that's negative 1 squared, and negative 1 squared is 1. All right. The right hand side. Simplify, add. The left-hand side, remember, is going to condense right away into a perfect square trinomial. Now, that means both factors are the same, which is why I can write it as a factor squared. And I always take half of this middle number, which is negative 1. All right, now, to solve this, I'm going to square root both sides. I get x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 6. And then all I have to do is add 1. When I add 1, it goes right in front of the plus or minus. And this is your final answer. It's an exact answer. It's irrational, so you could not factor. 
for that matter. 